stomach was killing me. So I had to give me a sandwich. <laughs> I had to give me a sandwich real quick. What's up YouTube? We got another video today. Should be quite obvious what we're doing today. But uh if you don't know, we're gonna put these black 345 badges on. As I always say, this is not a how-to video, but just to show y'all some of the stuff you you gonna need. Um if you're gonna do it, of course you're gonna need the badges, some rags, a little cheap heat gun, some tape, um, label and sticker remover. Uh it's like a little detail brush, I think. This is really for the old one. Just to clean in between it. Um, really don't need that. Because uh, once you get it off, you can clean it as much as you need to anyway. And then, this is not the right one. But it's uh, like when you get some like goo gun, like a package of goo gun or something like that to take a badge off, it usually come with something like this. This one, I forgot what this one is actually for. But... It, it can help. Um, hopefully it don't take too long, but. We gonna take that off and it's, I don't know where I got it from, but it's starting to discolor anyway. I don't know if you can see it, but. So we gonna take that off today, both sides. So, hopefully, like I said, it don't take too long. I want to go with the more, like I said, if you, if you uh, caught my last video, going for the more black look. And low key, I've been making moves behind the scene, man. Might be getting a new car to the channel. Not two cars, but this one will be gone, but I don't know. If that really happens, though, I'll make another video updating y'all. But for right now, we're going to keep trying to... Uh, get this uh with the all black thing so i'm gonna come in once i get it off put the new one on then i start recording again and then i'll take pictures of both all right after about i say 10 minutes as i ain't go i would i should have went to go get some flaws but it's too hot so i ain't gonna get none with that heat gun and that uh, label remover, it make a big difference, especially the heat gun, because I never had a heat gun. Last time I put on badges, I used it and made it easy. So I definitely suggest you get a heat gun. But yeah, about 10 minutes. Still got to do a little bit more, because you can kind of see the glare. Of the, well, not the glare, but the. 345 still on there um, but I'm gonna use the label removal wipe it down a few more times and it should be good now I'm gonna work on the other side then uh, since on these 300s they didn't have no uh, badges up here for the S so um, what I'm gonna do is um, a buddy of mine that I uh, was contacting on uh, Instagram, SP Mopa, uh, when I had my scat pack. Real cool dude, I think he's based out of California. Uh, you might want to check him out, but uh, I hit him up and asked uh, about the placement of the emblems, man. Real cool dude, he, uh, he told me what to measure and all that, so we're gonna get a measuring tape, because I, what I really did was I bought it from a charger. Um, but I don't know how correct it was, but um, it looked pretty good to me with the eyeball test. But this time I'm actually going to use his measurements to do it. So I get the other side off, measure it out, tape it up, and then apply the new one. This is the aftermath. Like I said, the first side took about 10 minutes. Um, the second side was surprisingly, 
about half the time. So, in total, 15 minutes. I took me a sandwich break. So, I've been out here a little bit longer, but yeah, about 15 minutes to take off both sides. Now, I'm about to clean both sides extra good. Um, use a little bit more uh, label remover. Um, and another thing I forgot is uh, alcohol. So, I'm going to hit with the label remover one more time than uh go get the alcohol make sure it's real clean uh, then measure out the the proper uh measurements and uh tape it off and i'll put the new ones on see i'm sweating crazy man it's extra hot out here extra hot but um uh, should be done in another like 20 minutes. Then we're gonna have them have them them black them black uh hemi badges on there. Look at the inside. I don't even know if you can see them S. Them blue S. Y'all who been around, y'all y'all seen that video. Let me get back to it. Alright. I had to keep it 100 with y'all. I had to stop, man. My damn stomach was killing me. So, I had to get me a sandwich. <laughs> had to get me a sandwich real quick. But, I want to show y'all the... Uh, I actually forgot one thing that you need, which is... um floss to get the emblem off easy but I think when I heated up with the heat gun it was it was uh that's all they needed for real and uh, I just take the rag and get it off a little bit but um Part was getting the uh, the trimming piece off of the off of the emblem. It was real tough, and I should have like this with a five. Should have took that out first, and it made it real tough. But uh, it's the finishing tough, the finishing look. Real stealth, man. You can't see it as much, but I like it. That five stand up. I used the template that it came with and just peeled the back off of the numbers and the Hemi and then stuck it on. So this is how it came out. With this not being uh, lined up. Um, but I just went with it because that's how the template was. So my three, my uh, red one, I had them lined up, but it was actually crooked. So that's that side. Still gotta give me a new grill, man. But um, this other side, I like how it came out. Give me a car wash. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm making some calls. I told y'all this one might be gone. I'm making some calls. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a video for this. But uh. I'm real happy with the finishing results, man. <coughs> that stuff, that 345 in the black. Black, black. Until next time.